Well now what? Just picked up this uh, 2000 Yamaha Big Bear 400 4x4. I uh, traded off that Yamaha 225 dirt bike for it. I think I got a deal. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, just wanted to get something that I could kind of play around on the trails with and something not ridiculous fast like that Raptor 660 I had. Just uh, something to kind of cruise around with, play in the mud, have a little fun on, do some work on it. I'd uh, put that ball on the back. I hooked my trailer up right there to it and drove around my grandma's and cut down a bunch of trees and had that all loaded down and pulled it just fine. So just what I'm looking for. But uh, yeah, I got it from said it had been sitting for about three years so I figured I better go ahead and change oil and the front and rear differential fluid and check that air filter it's pretty funky so we'll go ahead and show you how to replace that now uh, on the engine this takes three and a half quarts I figured I'd go ahead and get the good stuff I picked up the Yama, Yama Lube 2050 take three and a half quarts of that then I got this uh, differential fluid, 80-90. Uh, now it takes three and a half quarts for the engine and 0.24 quarts for the front differential and 0.37 quarts for the rear. <clears throat> now the oil filter on this, the, here's the Yamaha one. There's the part number for that. Uh, I went ahead, I ordered one and had weight on it, then I went to the dealer and ended up getting the Yamaha one, but I've also got this KN. I'll probably put this on for the first round. And this is part number KN142. I believe the Fram oil filter is a 142 as well. So to do this, you, know, you got your dipstick right here, where you got your lines coming in from your oil cooler. On the back of that, we got uh, three five millimeter Allen screws. You got one up top, one over here, and one down there on the bottom. So that's where your oil filter's at. And then the drain for your crankcase oil. Ugh. That is, kind of see it right here. This little spot there that one so that is a 19 millimeter I believe yeah 19 millimeter for that I'm gonna go ahead and drain the fluid in that and I did run it around and get it good and hot so that's always good for this rear differential here's your fill and right here is your drain so I had to pull this little cover off there and that's just two uh, I think it's 12 millimeter bolts pull that cover off so I could get to it I'll go ahead and drain that drain the engine and I'll show you where the front differential fill and drain is right here is the fill for the front differential I really you probably ain't gonna be able to see this because it's got this cover here but right here in this middle bolt or middle hole you have a 10 millimeter bolt so we'll go ahead and drain that out here we go alright with a minimal amount of cussing and oil on the floor I got her all drained I got the front differential draining this here is your fill cap this is that little 10 millimeter down underneath there got that I mean you ain't gonna have a whole lot come out of there so if you're leaking you really need to make sure you get on it and get that fixed because you run that low on oil you're gonna run into some problems got this drained with a little bit of a mess that uh, little skid plate or I think this is actually an attachment for uh, putting a snow plow on caught a little bit of that oil and made a little mess but we're alright got that off Here's the cap for that. I'll go ahead and get a rag and wipe that little bit of clutch dust out of there. And uh, this comes out too. This is just a little uh, catch, a little screen in there and a spring. 
didn't look too dirty so that's good so I'll put that back in and uh, show you this oil filter I took these three Allen head bolts out of there you can see what that looks like in there and I pulled this filter out it goes in right like this you got a little little tab in there where the end of this hole will fit on shove that in there now on the inside of this here you have an o-ring which I went ahead and got since I was there I figured you know can't hurt and there's the Yamaha part number for that so I'll just pull that old o-ring out and put a new one in I figured I'd uh, go ahead and replace the spark plug too pick me up one of these NGKs there's the part number and uh, make sure you gap that at a uh, 24 thousandths so put that o-ring in new oil filter get that all back together now this filter yeah it's got a little bit of crud here and there which you know could be a lot worse so I'm happy with that at least it's not all gunked up the oil didn't really look too dirty but you know I'd rather be safe than sorry didn't know a whole lot about the thing got the fill right there got the drain down there on the bottom and this takes a uh, was it a five six I can't read six millimeter allen key and there's the bottom drain for that there's the fill I actually also picked up these little brass crush fittings little crush washers that go in there pick those up too to make sure that's uh, sealed good they had the back I got those they're the same part number put new ones on they didn't have the front I figured it ain't that big of a deal pulled out that old plug it's seen better days so it ain't gonna hurt to put a new one in got my new air filter here here's the old one it's pretty nasty look down here in this element just all fuzzy and everything so I got me a new air filter somebody's getting it there's the part number for the air filter go ahead and replace that now usually I'll get like some of this uh, Bell Rays foam filter oil and spray this down but this being like a dual element kind of filter and I don't know it seems like you spray that stuff on that can't ever get them cleaned again because that's waterproof stuff I'm gonna I'm, uh, I'm not gonna put that on this time but this just shoves down in here there you go it's got this little backing plate kind of keeps it locked in good so got that on and this just goes on line these two little tabs up put these clips down throw the seat back on so now I guess I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that new oil filter on and fill it up all right got fresh oil in there put three put three quarts of oil in there and I started it up let it run get it cycled through that oil cooler went ahead and poured another half quart in it I got the rear differential fluid in there put the front differential fluid in there right in there put a new spark plug in it oil filter air filter it's good to go go ahead and fire up fires right up runs good so ready for more abuse so you treat them good they'll treat you good um, definitely have to get out and have some videos playing in the mud to get a new winch for the front of it I got that and the guy said it's broken but I still got the plate down there and uh, got the wiring for it so get some videos of that definitely gonna get some more videos of the firebird here I got a bunch of front end parts over there I got boxes upon boxes of parts for it so got the moped running good I did get it riding I got this new front wheel on it I'll get some videos uh, out riding that here soon
Still got the K&AM. Bunch of projects. So, definitely get some more on all this stuff. Get you guys updated. I haven't been making as many videos as I'd like to be. I uh, had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, my grandma, she did pass away Sunday. I'm getting ready to go to her viewing. So, been trying to help take care of with a bunch of that stuff. But, uh, keep watching and I'll keep you guys all updated on everything. I'll go ahead and throw up a video at the end here for my grandma. She was a character. Thanks for watching, guys.